Oh boy, guys, look at this beautiful castle looking building in front of us right here. Have I got a story for you about this place? I am in Colma, California here, right across the street from the uh, front gates of Holy Cross Cemetery. And I've driven by this curious brick building a million times on my way to the cemeteries out here. And I finally had some time on my hands to stop and I went on, down the end of the building here, there's another smaller gray building, which is a, it's a flower shop. It's called Garden of the Angels Flower Shop here in Colma. And um, I asked the lady that worked in there, do you know what this building is or was? And she said, um, at, at, yeah, she, she kind of knew because a lot of the older people who live in Colma here, and they, when they come and visit the cemetery across the street, they, they buy flowers out of their flower shop. So they tell her stories. And they said at one time, this was Holy Cross Cemetery offices. Um, the other use it was, was it was a chapel. She had said, some of the older people tell her at one time it was also a mortuary. But the one thing that intrigued me the most was that um, it was a station for uh, the light, their light rail system they used to have coming down here from San Francisco. Now, I have discussed in the past, um, back in the what, eight, late 1800s, early 1900s, when San Francisco outlawed any new burials within city limits because they wanted to start developing the city more and people weren't too keen on living so close to cemeteries. They basically you know, stopped the, stopped the new burials and then they had moved people from San Francisco here to Colma. This is why Colma has so many cemeteries and has so many deceased people because... They moved everybody from the cemeteries there down to Colma here too. And they used the funeral trains or the funeral trolleys, which was like a streetcar, but it was equipped to handle a casket and mourners, um, you know, a, a family of the, of the deceased. So they could bring them, people who lived in San Francisco and died there, they could bring them down to Colma here. And I guess this was a station, a train station for the rail system they had. Now I'd asked her, was this exclusively also for the, for the funeral trolleys? And she said, no, it was for all kinds of trains, but it was also used as a station as well. And she had said, when you go around back, you can actually still see remnants of some train tracks. I don't know how, you know, it's, it looks pretty overgrown back there. So I really don't know how much we could see, but this is the old front door to the place. They're having a problem with people squatting and breaking in and squatting, unfortunately. But there's a little bit look of the inside there. But, I mean, look at this building. It's insane. It's beautiful. There is a broken piece of glass out of the window here, unfortunately. Somebody broke it. Probably trying to get into to squat I mean I don't want to go up in there and climb on this but um, yeah she says this is still owned by um, Holy Cross Cemetery they use it for storage now I guess I guess they wanted to demolish it but I guess the city wouldn't let them because this is as you could tell an old historic building so the city I guess kind of deemed it as a landmark as well so there's no plans to fix it up to include it in any kind of tour and there's also no plans to fix to just you know just get it together either or demolish it I mean so there's no plans to make it look better and maybe have it like a historical tour and there's no plans to demolish it either the, the, the city won't let them so kind of stuck in time here kind of trapped in time unfortunately But this is just gorgeous. But the lady says she believes this building is haunted. She says when um, the cemetery comes over to put something into storage, that they use this for a storage uh, facility now, they ask her if she wants to go in and look, and she's like, oh, no, no, no. She, she feels that it's haunted as well. And she says back here, there, she used to be able to see remnants of the old... Uh, Tr tracks for the rail system but um the train tracks but it's so overgrown back here now yeah I, you probably can't see anything unfortunately and she says the one thing that scares her about this building are these three windows up top 
she says she feels like people are watching her out of those windows. So what? So right now, unfortunately, the cemetery offices are closed. So I, th- she said the cemetery would probably have a lot more info on it, but they're closed right now because it's Sunday. So I'm going to have to make a special trip out here and um, try to find out more about this building. She said there's a, a building up the street, like a historical building that has a wall, and they explain a lot of the Colma history. So I might try to go over there and try to check that out too, but... This is just insanely beautiful. And this building had many uses, as I mentioned. If you guys are in the area, go to Garden of Angels Flower Shop. Or look it up. I'm not quite sure what street I'm on here. I think it might be Mission Street, but I'm not sure. Not sure. And go on in there and give them some business if you're here doing some cemetery business or just need flowers in general. Garden of Angels Flower Shop in Colma, California. I wanted I asked if she wanted to be on, on camera to talk more about it. She didn't want to be, so that's cool. She gave me a, enough info on this place, enough cool info.